When you make an appointment with an allergist, a skin test is a part of your evaluation and treatment. And skin tests are done for most of the allergens. Some of them don't have a standardized skin test. When you make an appointment, the staff will talk to you to allow at least 30 minutes to 45 minutes to come prepared for a skin test. They will go over all the medications that you're taking because you should not be taking antihistamines for at least seven days prior to a skin test. When you come in the office, after you talk to the physician, you will be asked to get into a gown, lay on your stomach. And those of you who cannot lay on the stomach, we can try to put the skin test on your thighs, sometimes on your arms, or even sometimes on your back and give you a chair to put your head down. The skin is then prepared with alcohol so that any lotion or any creams that you may have should not interfere with the skin test. So all I'm gonna do right now is wipe off the skin with alcohol and that's it. Skin tests are performed with a special instrument. They look literally like a hairbrush. And what we do is we put eight at a time to make it comfortable for the patient and it does not hurt. I'm gonna start with the first skin test. So I have done eight of these. My staff and I always mark the skin just to make sure we know where the skin tests have been placed. Each of these are a group of allergens. There is a pediatric kit and there is an adult kit. What you're seeing is a very limited amount of allergens that we do in children. So the first set is dust mites, cat and dog. The second set on this panel is grasses and ragweed. The third set is tree pollens and the last set is mold. You let the skin test stay on your skin for 15 minutes. If you're allergic, it itches, it does not hurt. And what you see is a little red mark like a mosquito bite. So we're gonna wait for 15 minutes and we'll come back and show you positives and negatives. So in 15 minutes, the skin test is ready to read. And I want you to appreciate this entire panel. That's the tree pollen, which is negative on the patient's back. But we have snuck in some controls. This is histamine, another histamine, and another histamine. Histamines are controls placed to make sure that the patient has not taken an antihistamine. And when it's positive, it means this is a very good test. On this patient's back, we have dust mites, which are positive. And I want you to appreciate that it's red when compared to a negative test. So this patient is not allergic to dog and cat dander, not allergic to grass ragweed, not allergic to any tree pollens or mold. This patient is allergic to dust mites. Either we call this a positive or a negative reaction, or we measure it. When you measure it, it helps me decide in two or three years if you have outgrown allergies. For example, the patient's dust mite today measures approximately five millimeters. And if I treat this patient two years from now, if it becomes two millimeters, I know that this patient has been treated. So I want you to appreciate a negative skin test as opposed to a positive skin test, which looks literally like a mosquito bite. At this point, the patient's back is wiped off. The entire process took us 15 minutes. And to make the patient comfortable, cortisone cream is placed. The patient can go back to their daily routine. If this patient does not scratch her back, the itching will go away in about 30 minutes. So now that I have made the patient comfortable, I'm gonna have her change. And then I will discuss with the patient what options she has to treat this dust mite allergy.